The idea of follow foils or walk along flying has been around since the 50s. The technology really hasn't changed much. You're just using this piece of cardboard to generate an updraft and the plane rides right there in that wave of air. Wing loading and air speed are very closely related for paper airplanes. Follow foils need to fly slow enough for you to walk behind. Most paper airplanes fly way too fast. Why? Any paper airplane made from a single sheet of paper weighs exactly the same. It weighs 4.5 grams. That's because any single sheet of eight and a half by 11, 20 pound paper weighs 4.5 grams. Let's talk about the area of the wing. If I fold two airplanes from graph paper, that's just paper with little squares on it, the wing that has more little squares covering it has more area, more squares, more area. We actually measure the area of anything in square units, just like the graph paper. Bigger wings have lower wing loading. They have more squares, and each square has to lift less than the squares of a smaller wing. The load each square lifts is, you guessed it, wing loading. Lift is generated by air moving around the wing. More speed means more lift. The math actually works out that for every doubling of air speed, you get a quadrupling of lift. That's not important. The big thing is little wings with fewer squares need to fly faster. Big wings with more squares fly slower. So to get a paper airplane to fly slower, you can do one of three things. You can make the wings bigger using the same kind of paper, somehow use less layering in the wings, or you can actually use thinner, more lightweight paper. With the tumbling wing, we do all three. It's a small strip of paper, so it weighs less than a whole sheet. There's absolutely no layering at all. And look at how slowly it flies. One single sheet, a strip of a piece of paper, a little updraft, and you've got a tumbling wing.